Welcome to the 2018 Nantucket Open. My name is AJ Risley. And I'm Eric Oakley. And all this beautiful footage is brought to you by the Disc Golf Guy. We have a great card. Ooh, some great Build. burgers too. Oh, oh my dang, gosh. Wow. The Nantucket Open is a wonderful place to be, and we have some awesome players to watch for this front nine round one sure action. Do. Steve Brinster, Paul Uliberry, Austin Turner, Jeremy... Rusco. Rus Rusco. Oh, okay. Our, our boss. Oh, yeah. Oh, that Jeremy. That's oh, it. okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, we're here at the Nantucket Disc Golf Course. Signed by Steve Hauk. John, John Hauk. <laughs> That's Steve Brinster. Steve Brinster. I'm watching Stevie just throw a nice <laughs> turnover on hole one. It's a pretty routine par four. Put it out in the fairway. If you throw it 300 feet, you're going to just throw another 300 foot shot and give yourself a 20 footer. It's pretty routine. This yeah. is more what you're looking for from Paul Ulivari. Yeah. He gets through the initial gap and, yeah, got some understable, and that's... It's good. Oh, there's the basket. Nice. All right. Yeah, like he's, that. he's really going to like it. Yeah. This hole and this course sets up very, very well for a, for left-handed players or if you have a strong sidearm for a right-handed player. Yeah. Um, if you can get stuff that finishes to the right, you're going to find a lot of easy shots in the fairway and some good places to be. And that... Newcomer to the tour. <laughs> oh my God! Look at him go. Sign him up, <laughs> Jeremy Rusco nice. with a beautiful shot. I feel like we're gonna be saying that kind of thing a lot for this whole round. Steve Brinster, I uh, I believe had wow. some help in designing the course. I could be wrong there, but so he knows what Ooh. he's doing and is that good? Yeah, he knows how to play the course too. Great second shot. Oh, and Rusco lining up the forehand. Oh, man, that was almost clean. Almost got right back onto the green. And something to note, out here, uh, the rough is especially rough. It's very rough. Yeah, so it's <laughs> stuff doesn't squeak out. It, it catches in, and when you're in there, you're, you're really wishing you weren't. Yeah, it's nice and thick. As beautiful as Nantucket is, the rough is not beautiful. Did you say it's rough? Yeah. yeah. I'd say this shot is that Rusko's throwing right now is rough. Good scramble. Wow. Yeah. Maybe he worked at a diner at some point in his life. He's good at scrambling some eggs. <laughs> birdie. That's what you want to start a round off. Easy birdie. Oh, yeah. Rusko's not going to feel too bad with the par after finding the rough. And more birdies from Stevie B and Austin T. I never called him that. I don't think I'm going to. I don't think that's not yeah. going to stick. You don't, you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> Stevie B. Good start. So now we're getting on to our, uh, the first par three of the course. And what's awesome mm. at the Nantucket um, Open is. All, all of the par threes uh, have CTP prizes, and you win Ooh. these amazing little cookies. Yeah, that's and right. CTP prizes are legit. So Stevie's gonna be stoked on that. He's probably picking up some cookies. I would hope that's... so. I mean, he, Steve's like five feet from the pin. Oh, oh there's yeah. a shot. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe six. Nice thing about this hole, you'll see, you saw Yuli utilize the ground play. The grass is not thick at all out here, so you get a lot of skip. And there you go, Austin does the same kind of thing. Looks like Rusko's going a little lower as well. Yep. Pretty, right. pretty good showing from our players here. That's looks like all four inside the circle. Yeah. Yeah. How you would really like to play a 300 foot par three. Oh, and there you go. There's that CTP marker. Nice putt by Yuli. Oh, yeah. Brinster's way inside that CTP marker. Dude, all about it. But he's not guaranteed the cookies yet. No, there's a lot of cards. Oh, Ooh, no. Oh, oh, wow, he says. <laughs> I mean, those... I don't know why you would keep looking at it. Woo! 
and Jeremy <laughs> Rusko. <laughs> oh, man. Slinging it in there. Rusko's like, yeah, the left side works fine, Austin. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Caught my disc the right way. Maybe you should throw it with some clockwise spin next time, buddy. That's what Rusko sounds like. That's pretty much Jeremy Rusko. All day, Rusko. Princer signing it up. CTP is mine. I feel like the CTV doesn't count unless he makes it, though. <laughs> Sorry, Dustin. <laughs> Did he not? No, he hasn't put it yet. Oh, he hasn't put it yet. I'm going to flash yeah. back to last year. CTP is a real deal here. Wow. So don't feel bad. All right. Cue flashback. I mean, this pen is the <laughs> real deal. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Again, somewhere. I don't think it's the right place. No. Nope. It's not. It's not a. Con it's like a. It's like some kind of carpenter's <laughs> pen or something. This. Awesome. This one was not even worth it right now. It's not it's working exactly off the ink. Exactly what happened last year. <laughs> God, he doesn't even know what to do. Guess I'm wow. Getting it. <laughs> 2013 U.S. <laughs> champion <laughs> right here, folks. <laughs> Can't work a friggin' marker. Is he sacrificing the cookies? Can I write on something else? On Steve, no. Uh, it looks like you're gonna get some assistance. Oh, good Samaritan coming in. Yeah, He's you doing just... the exact same thing. Steve. No, don't loosen it. There, it, there it is at the bottom. You gotta tighten the other end. No, last year this was the exact same problem. These island folk. <laughs> oh wow, he did it. Oh, that's one of the that's one of the Graham boys right there. There you go, Stevie. Yeah, don't you don't leave cookies behind, Steve. I'm proud that we got this all figured out. I think Steve's gonna be proud too that he finally got this pen figured out. I think so. Todd and Louisa, I think are, we're definitely gonna have to <laughs> oh, <laughs> reminisce. No. Look at this. Is this like a flashback to last year? Flashback. Zach having the Zach, same issues. Zach, what a moment like this mean to you? Dude, these are the moments that... that Tom and Louisa, Rainwater so are one of the, the, highs, the people who know, run like the tournament. Anytime you can take one from Drew. Uh, so we are definitely like, going to have to why we play. get them some different pens. <laughs> some markers. I can't even figure out how well, to do this. <laughs> I think these pens were made like specifically for this type of whiteboard material. But... Maybe Zach was raised on chalk, I guess. <laughs> this is the lowest Terry. I like that he's probably it. talking right now, but so are we. No, yeah. Wait, no. No, we, so, we don't really need to hear what Zach has to say. Yeah. I'm a name Zach Melton. I operate uh, with my left hand. So I like I like, I like my beard a lot. And Alyssa, can you help me with this pan? Really I this? don't is. know how to are work you sure it. This is a pen? I think they said it's a pen. Hey everybody, look at look at me. I'm wearing a I'm wearing a hat this time. Zach, you can't use a shot. Maybe this thing comes off? Oh, no, wait, it just marked on your finger. It did? Oh. Oh. Oh, my gosh. We got it. Oh, my God, it's like chalk. We got something. it. Look they it. did it. Really just... All right, comment below if... <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> if, How many uh, pieces it take to... <laughs> two. If you love cookies. Perfect. Because <laughs> Zach's it, walking dude. away with some Thank cookies. That was last year, though. That. So he had cookies two years ago. The CTPs are all about... This is what they're about. Open. This is what it's about. Actually, shoot, I figured it out. Ooh, Nate Sexton sighting. Yeah. Alrighty. Awesome with the unfortunate spit out, if you guys can remember that. We're moving on to hole three. <laughs> <laughs> hole three. <laughs> hole three is pretty interesting. It's uh, It curves. It's got a left to right curve and a low ceiling. But once again, we're working with a lot of hard packed dirt. Not much grass to speak of. So this sidearm play from Yuli could work out very well. Yeah, throwing there, something fast there was a sm kind of over the top route but you oh, just okay. bring in you're bringing in the trees and you don't need it and look at that and like you said on the previous hole yes all par threes are ctps for cookies yuli shot within 10 feet no cookies look at that ctp that's flag. pretty good. some I, I think someone aced it it might have been because it would have been we were on we started on hole four right and we heard some screaming some hooting and hollering. And look at this. These guys are filleting this hole. Stevie with a, well, the only person not to throw in cookie range. In we'll cookie range. <laughs> yes. Yuli. Yuli with the dream start. He's doing it. Three through three. Thanksgiving came early for Yuli this year.
solid drive. Austin's checking out the chain. Oh, he's checking out the CTP. He's like, I'm going to go talk to that dude about getting some cookies. Right. <laughs> Careful. Yeah. All right. It's in there. So Austin birdie. getting his confidence back that he can trust that the baskets will actually catch his disc, which is always a positive. Yeah, there you go, Yuli. Three for three. And everyone else at two down. Back to another par four and hole four here. This one is pretty dead straight, so it allows you to kind of throw virtually whatever shot you want as long as you can stay on the fairway and then you just attack into a very guarded green and guarded basket. Yuli, very good with the roller. He's biting off a lot more distance with that style of shot. He was flirting with the all of that left side there. Mm -hmm. Busco <laughs> just putting one down the middle. Yeah. Making it look good. Showing how dynamic discs fly. Austin. A little too much power. Trying to... He has been hitting the gym, so it's good for him, but he needs to lay off on this hole. Stevie. Oh, wow, Ooh, this looks good. Tasty. Go, baby, go. Oh, there's wow. Yuli's disc. Yep. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow, he made it to those trees. Wow. That's pretty good. Yeah, Rusko's looking at this par four, and, and par four means two shot hole and you still have a birdie look and when you see 626 on the distance oh iron leaf with 626 you can break that down into two 310 foot shots and then you got a six foot putt mm -hmm. math yeah which is what jeremy was going for iron leaf said no thanks austin also caught some uh, foliage yuli that's a really really well executed like technical style shot where he's using a more overstable disc he's forcing it over trusting that it's not going to have a lot of lateral movement either direction and trusting that it's just going to slide on its mm. on its uh level and just get itself in the basket i mean nice he's gonna like that brinster does does a similar thing with uh just backhand instead of a forehand approach so he's looking at a birdie as well Rusko trying to skip one in, maybe? Mm. A for effort. E. B for effort. Oh. Effort. Effort. <laughs> B for birdie. <laughs> B for Brinster. A. Yuli doing things. No problem. Oh, and shout out to Matt Graham of Kids Disc Golf mm. getting the catch cam for Terry Miller out here. If you guys haven't seen anything Kids Disc Golf is doing, uh, it's awesome. And you should support it. Some disappointing pars here. Yeah, I mean if you think but, if you think you're an adult who's stoked about disc golf, just try being a kid who's stoked about disc golf. It's insane. Shout out to all the kids watching this. Just keep watching. And because Paul's probably gonna Oh man. man. Thought he was gonna do something cool. So we're in we're on to our first par five here. There are multiple par fives out here and they are yeah. all very, very legit. They if you if you do what you're supposed to, you'll have an eagle look, but you can't guarantee yourself Stevie B finding his way through everything. Oh man. Yeah. That's a good spot to be. Um and a lot of them a lot of them ooh, that's not what you want. A lot of them play in the way that if you you can throw a really good shot and end up against one of these trees, and it's just a it's a part of it, and you you understand <laughs> right. that. But if you can throw and just trust that the distance is good enough, and wherever you get to will give you a birdie look, then you're gonna play really really well out here, and especially on these par fives and fours, you're gonna get some sweet sweet scores. Yeah, but like you said, there's. There's a lot of trees in this fairway. I don't know if I. This is an interesting style of course. It's 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 unique. This isn't exactly wooded golf, but it's not it's not not wooded golf. Mm -hmm. And so there's a shot that you were just talking about. Decent decent looking throw out of his hand, but somehow you know just gets an extra little skip and roll here and there. And now 
Yuli's going to be pinned up kind of close to that tree. And Austin finds one as well. Ooh. And a lot of these... Polar look for, for Brinster? Got to be. A lot of these holes have uh, really, really good lanes for you to hit. So oh. they're just inviting. And if, you, if you're feeling on, you can get wow. out and shred this course. And Steve just yeah. playing this course... He's, like he's done it a thousand times. Yeah, he's, uh, city, he's sending in his RSVP to that eagle look right there. Mm -hmm. That was a nice roller. Oh, hello. Good boy. Yeah, see, I don't think... I think that kind of disqualifies this course from uh, from being called wooded. Yeah. You can't you can't throw over the top shots on wooded courses. Nah. They're not there. But Austin's not in the rough. That's really all you're trying to do because... It can, add, I mean, if you're pinned up against a tree on a hole like this, or if you hit a tree like like Rusko just did, no offense, um, then you're still advancing the disc probably like 200 feet at least, mm -hmm. maybe 300. Oh, nice shot. But then you can still throw another 300 foot shot from where you are if you're in the short grass. Mm -hmm. If you're in the bushes, it's a whole different uh, scenario. Well, we see we see from Yuli he Ooh. he hit early through a really good second shot that ended up against a tree and he throws a fantastic third shot and he's still looking at he's looking at a birdie it is only 800 feet um oh get some Ooh. Uh, so that allows you if you are not finding the rough and you're just staying in the middle of the fairway you can you can score well and you shouldn't find many bogeys where you find bogeys are when you find that that super super rough stuff. See if you definitely wanted that three. Oh, he wanted that four even more, oh, I bet. Oh, Stevie B. Ouch. Yeah, those never feel good. Eagle to par. You know what you had to do. But there's going to be more opportunities out here. I think we followed up with a second par five right after this, too. So we're I think you're right. Yeah. Back to back after a little walk. Mm-hmm. Yuli, though, still... Riding the birdie train. He's riding the the early birdie train. This this is the what was this the nine a.m. round? This yeah this was the super early. Let's, let's see. Mm, yeah it's okay. Wow Yuli with the only birdie on hole five. It's a pretty good range of numbers though considering how many trees we saw get hit. The second par five. It's a little bit shorter, but this is um, has it's significantly more left than you think it is. Yeah, a it bit gets, of a dog leg. It's pretty nuts because you think you're throwing it left enough, and you get up there and see your second shot, and you're like, oh, it's still so long to go. This is looking great, though. Yeah, I think the way to get to the the right landing zone on this hole is to throw a bit of a hyzer flip because you want to. You want to punch a lot more forward at the beginning of the flight and then break off to the left. If you throw an overstable disc with some hyzer to begin with, you're just going to keep fighting left and left and left, and there's not really a way to cut off the corner. Oh, and Austin. Early tree kick. Not too stoked about the frisbee throw, but... I'm betting. I'm gonna guess that he's stoked to show off the hair. Oh, for sure. Okay. The Milky Way, if you will. Mm -hmm. Very caramely. Jeremy Rusko. Oh, if it doesn't hit that, it's gonna be so good. But that's still he's still gonna be in, in the short stuff. Mm-hmm. Where you wanna be? Austin getting aggressive here. Oh. Finding some stuff, short stuff. That's where you wanna be. Not Brad. Yeah, it's not Brad at all. There's the basket. See the second here. And this is what we're talking about. You just get slightly pinched up on some trees, even after you throw a pretty good shot, and you're just... That's what brings the level of difficulty to this course, because it's so important about where you land. Oh my god, don't break your hand. Jeez. That whole time he was about to run up, I was just 
thinking, don't break your hand. I probably said it in my head like 20 times. Let's go, trying to squeak one. He's in button range. That's that's a good play. That's That'll be for his, his birdie, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you get. And again, eight about 800 feet, par 5. So you got three shots to get yourself 800 feet and give yourself a birdie look. And that's exactly what Rusko's doing. He's not kicking any trees. He's not finding the rough. And that's a that's a part of this what you see a lot with this course is that Ouchie. the greens are very guarded, very tight. As you saw for Yuli's shot was looking like it was going to the basket and he finds <laughs> some finds some foliage and gets iron leafed. Let's see if he can capitalize on his longer birdie look to keep the perfect streak going. Mm. He, knew he knew it. Yeah. Those it's all right, though. Back. Oh, yeah, especially on a beautiful day like this out here on the island. Oh, oh Jeremy. What a sweet little hopper. Right, to steal the box from Yuli. Instead, Stevie B is going to steal the box. B for birdie. Hashtag B for birdie. Hashtag B for Brinster. Oh, stay in. Okay. Nice. He's got the hanger there. It's a good putt, ladies and gentlemen. Style points. No problem. Mm. Yeah, Yuli knows. I mean, yeah, he had two decent shots, and really all he had was a chip shot to get up to the green for birdie. Mm -hmm. Just a little off. Still, though, five down through six. It's not too shabby. And hole seven. Is this the shortest hole on the course? Yep. Gotta be. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, just there you go. A little hallway shot. Um, again, trouble on both sides. Trouble long, even. You could go 20 feet past this basket. You know, you could throw less than 200 feet and have no putt. But if you just lace the fairway like you're supposed to, oh man, is that you still good? you still won't get cookies. Look at that <laughs> CTP marker. It's these shots are so good, but they're not worth cookies. Oh, that one was almost worth ace pot money though. Austin almost banked it off the final tree into the chains. And that's that's the way to get cookies is you ace a par three, get yourself some cookies. You don't even care about the extra money. Mm. You just like, dude, I got cookies. Dude, give me those cookies. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm surprised we don't have like more cookie monsters at this tournament just for the cookies. I'd be surprised if we can get cookies on camera. Man, that'd be sweet if we could. But we're not on camera right now. Oh, that was weird. It's a good frame. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Just just the best camaraderie on this card. Fist pumps all, all over the place. Star frame on hole seven. So hole eight and nine are, are the only places you're going to see in any elevation change on this course. The I think hole eight goes down like three maybe five feet and hole nine goes up three or five feet yeah <laughs> and uh Ooh. it's the rest of the course is completely flat and uh so it's pretty fun to get after it out here these par threes man these guys aren't getting cookies though no austin has the last chance to get some cookies yeah and he's gotta he's gotta pin it again uh Unless you're trying to kick right, like 50 feet, no, nope. no cookies. Sorry, decent shot. You're inside the circle, but you're still 30 feet away from cookies. Steve, the farthest away from cookies, but that's a great play from the rough. Mm. Oh, Jeremy. Right on line, though. Yeah. Right down the middle, just. I'm not going like to tell the last to do. He's he's our boss. Ooh, Good stroke from wow. Paul Ulibarri. 
Now, Paul is, you know, you may have seen him putt many different ways, but he's very methodical. He works really, really hard, and it's a testament to he's been doing it for so long, and he's going to continue to do it at a high level because of his work ethic. So hats off to Paul. If you guys are really trying to make it these days on the tour, look at Paul Yulbari. He's good. Would you just look at him? Stevie B, low left side, no problem. Mm -hmm. It's good on every basket. Waves to the fans. Rusco going to drop in for par. Oh, he's just, look at him, he's just fuming. All right. Paul and Austin, they got two, two of these little par threes here. This one's so uphill. Three or five feet uphill. It's just, you have to throw this so hard. You just got to crank it. Yep. It says 282 on the T sign. It plays like 286. <laughs> uh, Yuli with the great shot. Not cookie good, but still pretty good. Dude. <laughs> so when you get to these later holes that people right. have already been to, you're just, you just, the cookie dream like, goes out that. the window. <laughs> That was a great shot from Austin. Probably a nice little, just slightly flippy mid that he was able to put on a nice hyzer. Stevie wants that back. I mean, this uphill is really, really challenges these players a lot. The thing that you can't, you can kind of see, there is a little bit of a tight gap off the fairway for those backhand players that are mm -hmm. trying to, oh, that are trying to like use a, you know, play to that elevation like you were saying. <laughs> And really get their disc up in the air. It, that, that uh, oh wow, a good, good bid from Resco. Yeah, those couple uh, pine trees off the tee do kind of pose a little bit of a threat. Nice. All right, now he's now I think he's really got the trust of the basket. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or is it is it the other way around? The baskets trust him. They accept him. The baskets have his trust. Ooh, look at that. That's uh, cookies are vulnerable actually on hole nine here. And that's a pretty exceptional start from Paul Ulibarri on this front nine. I think he was eight through nine. Eight through nine, yeah. The only thing that kept him back was was one tree hit and a step putt that. Didn't quite have the juice, but we all know he's got the juice. Mm -hmm. So that's our front nine scores. Stevie B and Austin looking pretty good at five down with lots of room to make, and Jeremy Rusko at three down. Yeah, I like this. No red on this card yet. Yeah. The back nine definitely starts to show its teeth, so stay tuned for that. Come check yeah. us out. We'll be on it. And go like and subscribe. Terry Miller, the disc golf guy. Yeah, thanks, Terry. Thanks, Todd. And... Todd Luisa. Luisa for yeah. running this amazing event. This this is a must play if you guys ever have the chance. Catch you on the back nine. Mm -hmm.